My favorite time of year is here. It's Halloween. I love it not just for the parties and decorations, but I can see what the celebrities will be wearing. I can get some inspo, see who was boring, who got it right, and who surprised too, right? I can already tell you that our favorites were Demi Lovato, Vanessa Hudgens, Kylie Jenner and Stormy, and Kate Beckinsale. I'm also looking forward to seeing what Angelina Jolie, Meghan Markle, Ariana Grande and Cole Sprouse, and Lily Reinhardt have prepared too, and the rest of the Kardashian-Jenner sisters. So let's get into this and see what celebs wore to Halloween parties. While for some celebs like Jaden Smith and Billie Eilish, Halloween is just another day for them to wear what they usually do, there are celebs who go all the way and really make an effort to channel their Halloween vibes. Who are they? Let's have a look. While Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse have yet to reveal what their Halloween costumes are going to be, let's talk about Camila Mendez, who is also a part of the Riverdale universe. Because according to our thorough analysis and super deep research, she was the only one who shared her Halloween costume. Her inspiration came from the Rick and Morty cartoon, and as for the details, Cammy really paid attention to the point that she even used glitter to imitate the character's drool. That's iconic. When it comes to scientists, doctors, and so on, let's have a look at Cardi B's very creative, sexy nurse. While it's very simple and a very impressive idea, I suppose it is a staple of Halloween at this point, and somebody's gotta do it. So Cardi put on some red accessories, latex boots, had a stethoscope, and even some red lace. So while we're talking about Cardi B, we can't not compare her to her beloved Nicki. The less creative choose a Maleficent costume or dress up as Harley Quinn. Hey Nicki, was it that Cardi B wasn't lacking enough creativity that you had to invest even more energy into being uninspired? It'd be okay if Nicki chose to go as Harley Queen with reference to the queen of rap and so on. But anyway, her costume was still quite well done. Nikki reproduced the most important details of the character and even took some photos with a themed baseball bat. But what caught my attention is her man's face. If you had put a wax doll in place of her husband, no one would have noticed. For real. The guy made the same face in all the photos. It looked like the poor guy was forced to be there. But don't be discouraged, okay? There still are people who weren't boring. For example, Halsey and Evan Peters. I'm talking about her because her idea, or rather ideas, were very good. First, Halsey went as Marilyn Manson, and it was amazing. Evan Peters, to match her costume, dressed as one of the members of Insane Clown Posse, a rapper duo. As I said, there were two costumes. The second was also matching, and it was Sonny and Cher. What about Halsey's dress that is matching Evan Peters' shirt? Will you tell me they are not in love? Kate Beckinsale's idea may not have been that crazy, but she deserves to be mentioned in this video. Look at her costume. Kate decided to dress up as Audrey Hepburn in the best way possible. Look at that diva slaying with that costume. And not only that, take a look at her makeup. I even want to be friends with Kate after what she came up with. Liam Payne chose the safest look possible, and just to subtly get into the Halloween spirit, he decided to put on his Superman costume. I think in his mind, the idea must have been very cool, but in real life? I know he loves superheroes, but what was he thinking? Paris Hilton always takes Halloween very seriously, and this year she showed us how she chose her costumes in a video on her YouTube channel. And is it wrong? Absolutely not. Paris was so excited and had so many ideas. Just look at the video. Speaking of Paris, Paris Jackson generally stays away from the spotlight, but she made an exception and went to Paris Hilton's party. By the way, it is a very unusual friendship, don't you think? Together with her boyfriend, Paris Jackson got inspired by Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. She put on the usual clothes she wears and just painted her nose to show that she's Scooby-Doo. When I first looked at the pictures, I couldn't tell if it was the real-life Scooby-Doo or Paris Jackson. They were so similar. No, not really. It's depressing. Demi Lovato definitely takes Halloween very seriously. Her first costume was a sexy Marie Antoinette, with her makeup being inspired by Euphoria, a nice cotton candy wig, and a touch of seductiveness wearing a dress that was equivalent to a third of the original, showing off her legs. Okay Demi, you know how to do Halloween. But don't think this is it. Soon after that, Demi presented her second costume, which was the clown Pennywise. I think it was a version that combines Pennywise and Harley Quinn, huh? What about you? By the way, this red wig has me thinking that Demi looks absolutely beautiful in this hair color. I want to know what you think about all this. If there was a prize for the most excited about Halloween, Vanessa Hudgens would undoubtedly win. Ever since August, she'd already been getting ready for Halloween. There's even a video on her Instagram where she's showing a dress and you can see bats on the wall. She took it so seriously that in October, she even changed the color of her feet to only black and white photos. 
Of course, we need to talk about Vanessa Hudgens' best costume ideas. She wore clothes with bones on them in August. In September, there had been some very gothic vibes with her friends and kind of a Lolita Halloween-themed thing. She even wore this outfit when she went to Halloween Nights at Universal Studios Park. I can see that Vanessa Hudgens takes Halloween to another level because even though she doesn't dress up every day, her style is totally inspired by Halloween. Vanessa also took the opportunity to post Halloween photos from previous years, and it's hard for me to tell which photo is recent and which one is not. But I think the best one so far was Jack Skellington and Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas that she matched to her boyfriend Austin Butler. As for the Kardashian Jenners, neither Kim nor Chloe, Courtney or Kendall have hinted at what costumes they will wear and if they will even attend any Halloween parties. But Kylie loves Halloween, and for this year, the expectations are very high. This year, her friendship with Stassi has developed, and so far they've already had two costumes. The first was Madonna and Britney at the 2003 VMAs. The second was an honorary Halloween costume. Why? Well, according to what Kylie said on Instagram, Stassi was having a party with the theme of Playboy magazine. And once again, they were matching. And the only difference were the colors of the ears and the tails on their rabbit costumes. Kylie in black and Stassi in white. And have you seen Kylie's mini-me? Maybe all the creativity to think about different costumes went into Stormy's look, who Kylie decided to turn into herself with the outfits she wore at the 2019 Met Gala. Have a look and tell me if this isn't adorable. But I hope that maybe Kylie will show us something great on Halloween. Now let's talk about who we have the highest expectations for this Halloween. Ariana started posting photos from the series The Twilight Zone and even asked if this would be a good idea for a Halloween costume. She also posted a photo of herself as a child and one last photo on October 30th which says, What you're about to watch is a nightmare. Considering how many people love to dress up as Maleficent, I'm looking forward to seeing what Angelina Jolie is going to be dressed as. But for now, nothing's been revealed. It's worth mentioning that, in previous years, Angelina always had great ideas, as you can see in the photos we have here. Any guesses for what the Jolie family may dress up as? While Meghan Markle has left her American life behind to become part of the royal family, I don't know if she'll get into the Halloween spirit. So, I'll put this image of Cam and Mitchell from Modern Family dressed as the Duchess of Sussex. So now tell me, which celeb's Halloween costume did you like the most? What are you dressing up as this Halloween? Let's talk about it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with Curiosips. See you!